Have you ever asked yourself, what do the people around me need? When you start to pay attention, you'll see needs everywhere. Maybe your bus driver needs your smile, someone in your town probably needs a meal, or maybe some warm socks. The new kid at school might need a place to sit at lunchtime. Your sister might need a listening ear, and for you to zip it while she talks. Your friend who's struggling with science may need a study pal. Maybe your cousin could use a cheerleader at a soccer game. Go, Derek, go! And I can guarantee your mom or dad needs a helping hand. When you practice looking for what people need, you'll start to see it everywhere. But seeing is only the first step. Once you see a need, then you can do something about it. You can show God's love by meeting some of those needs. Now, we hear about needs all over the world, and sometimes we can help, like sponsoring a child so they can have food and the school to go to. But most of the time, it's about showing love to the people right around you. God can give you the vision to see and the creativity to help the people you see every day. When you care enough to do something about someone else's needs, it's like shining a light so others can see God at work. That's why compassion is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud.
Oh, hey! I'm Brandon. I'm John, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show! Boy, oh boy, do we have a fun show for you today. Yes, indeed. And I want to start it off with a question. Okay. Actually, it's a riddle for you, John, oh. and for all of you out there, too. <laughs> I love riddles. Hit me, hit me. Okay, okay, here it goes. You can only see me where there's light, but shine the light on me, and I disappear. What am I? Ooh. That's a good one. Uh huh. Uh, okay, let me see. Let me see. Um, ow. Mm, oh, oh. You know what? I had a cousin named Mark who used to avoid going outside during the day. He said the sun was too bright. <laughs> He'd just bury himself under the covers, and people would call him Mark the Mole. <laughs> But that might be because he had a big nose and long whiskers. <laughs> okay, I promise you, Mark the Mole is not the answer. Oh right. To give up? No, no, no. Hang no, on. Okay. Hang on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Ooh, smoke. Ah, yeah. <laughs> How about you? You can only see me where there's light, but shine the light on me, and I disappear. I got it. Ah, he's got it. What? It, wait. Uh, okay. Lights. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa! You can only see me where there's light, but shine the light on me. <laughs> And I disappear. The answer is I'm a shadow. Oh, you got it! Oh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> oh, thank you. Lights. We're going to be talking about light all month long. In fact, today's guest knows all about lights. Ooh. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. What happened? I don't know. Usually, someone comes in. How's it going? Hello. Oh, 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 oh. hello. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the show. What are you doing up there? Well, this is where I feel most comfortable, up here with the lights, but out of the limelight, so to speak. Oh, oh well, well, tell us who you are and what you know. Well, my name is Butch, and I'm the chief electrician on motion pictures and television production units. I'm most commonly referred to as a gaffer, and my assistant is the best boy. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. That's Rocky. Hey, Rocky. He's got a horn. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what does a gaffer do? Well, mainly I deal with the lighting. You see, lighting for TV and movies is more than just seeing what's going on. It's all about setting the mood. Here, let me show you. I'll just switch the lights and. Well, well, well. Ha! It appears we have been transported, old chap. What a mystery! Hmm. Or is it? Using reasonable deduction, I have henceforth ascertained who committed the crime. Do tell. It was Mr. Blue. In the kitchen, whilst making a sandwich, he's your peanut butter thief. No! Why are we talking like this? It's the lighting. Oh, light can change everything. Let's see what happens when I switch it to. Try something different. Yeah! You listen, brother. 
Two of us are in this ring right now, but only one is gonna walk out of it. I hear what you're saying. One of us is gonna walk out of the ring, and then the other one is gonna walk out a little later. Woo! No, no, only one of us will walk out because one of us is the better wrestler than the other one. Do you smell what I'm boiling on the stovetop? Oh yeah! I do, and I love pot roast. No, no, no. No. Oh, no. Okay, we'll just stop there. Pop roast sounds good. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. You get the idea. That is truly remarkable. I had no idea lighting could do so much. I know, light really does change everything. Hey, thanks for the info, Butch. Thanks for coming on the show, and thanks for all the work that you do behind the scenes. We really appreciate it. You got it. Oh, and thanks to you too, Rocky. Oh yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, now let's bring those wrestling lights back on. I've got a score to settle with you, yeah. Oh no, they're gone, John. The, the lights aren't changing anymore. Oh. My apologies. Yes. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh yeah. Hey Kellen. Hey Kellen. Hello to you. That was quite the way to kick off the month. And you're exactly right. Light can make all the difference in the world. That's actually what today's Bible verses are all about. Oh, then take it away. Yeah. These verses come from the book of Matthew. Matthew was one of Jesus' closest followers, and he wrote down a lot of what Jesus said and did. One time, Jesus was sharing with his followers what it truly looks like to live for God. And he said, It's time to break down the verse with Coach Scooter Shard. Looks like we're going to have some help. Ah, are you ready to analyze, scrutinize, and investigate today's Bible verses? Then gather around, huddle up and crowd together in a close-knit jumble because Coach Scooter Sharp is here to show you how it's done. Thanks for being here, Coach. I, I was just about to show the first verse. Oh, that's what I like to see, Ree, being a go-getter. Come on, lay it on me. I will. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill can't be hidden. Yeah, I like that. You should be the light of the world. People should be able to look at you and say, hey, look at that person. They got light coming out all over the place. That person is so different. You should be so different that people can tell from a long way off, just like that town Jesus was talking about. That town built on a hill. It can't be hidden. No! See, there's just light spilling out all over the place. That should be you. You should be the same way. That's right, Coach. You, me, and everyone who follows Jesus. We are the light of the world, and the reason we can show light is that we reflect the light of Jesus to those around us. Here's what Jesus said next. Also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. Now, if you've got a light source of some sort, like a lamp or a candle or a flashlight or a high-powered searchlight, you're not going to cover it up, are you? You know, with a basket. No, of course not. That would be ridiculous. What would be the point of having the light in the first place? You are gonna put that bad boy up on a pedestal. So everyone can benefit from the brightness. <laughs> Much better. That is it, coach. A light that is covered up doesn't do what it's meant to do. And it's just like that with you and me. Jesus said, in the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. 
Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Now, when we have Jesus' light, love, and compassion inside of us, we can spread that love to others. <laughs> and then that points others back to God. Perfectly drawn out, coach. That's what I do, Stu. Now, how about a real time play to show these verses in action? Yes, please. Let's say there's a new girl and she shows up at school and she doesn't know anybody. Look at her, she's all by herself. Now, some of your friends are all over here huddled up and they're ignoring the new girl. Well, that's where you come in. You decide to introduce yourself to her. Hello, how you doing? I'm doing fine. So you have a little introduction. Then you introduce her to your friends. And that makes your the new girl happy. Ha ha, look, she's happy. And then the new girl feels happy and included. And it shows your friends how God would want them to treat others. And then they end up making a new friend. They end up making a new friend with her. See, and they end up making friends with themselves. <laughs> now look, I got arrows all over the place, which is a sign of a good play. Now, that is how you break down a verse. It's your turn to put it into practice. Go team! Thanks, coach. Jesus said that we are the light of the world. We should reflect his light by doing good things and showing love and compassion to the people around us. But not because it makes us look good, because it points people to God who has love and compassion for everyone. You know, I don't think I ever thought about reflecting Jesus' light. It's almost like we're mirrors of Jesus. Yeah. And Jesus has given us such a great example to follow. Yeah, and when we trust Jesus and follow his example, it really does change how we treat others. I think you got it. I'll see you guys next time. I think that leads us perfectly to, what are you doing? Oh, oh, I, 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 I just wanna be a gaffer like Butch. So I'm trying a new lighting design for the show. It's kind of bright, isn't it? Yes, it's burning my eyes. Okay, reveal the question. <laughs> Oh, how can you be a light? Yes. John? Huh? Oh, here. Oh, thank you. How can you be a light? Huh? Oh, uh, well, I guess I could try to mirror what Jesus did. I could look for people who seem left out and try to include them in what I'm doing. Yeah, you can be a light uh, by helping someone with their homework or uh, cheering someone up when they're sad. Yeah, there are lots of ways you can be a light. So talk about it together. And we'll see you next time for a brand new show. Bye! Why do you keep doing this? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It's just light, right? It, it, it is. Here, what, what, I think you have a cavity. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Oh yeah! <laughs> it's my favorite joke of the whole show. <laughs> we'll see you next time for a brand new show. Bye! Bye! I said that to you before I said it to them. Oh. Bye! Goodbye! See ya! Bye. Let's try something different. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>